Hi, it's Jeff Wade here with StockIdeas.org, and I'm going to do another quick video book review for you. Uh, today we're looking at Winning the Losers Game uh, by Charles D. Ellis, uh, Timeless Strategies for Successful Investing. Um, if you're not familiar with the author of this book, uh, Charles Ellis, he was uh, on the investment committee and maybe the chairman even of the Yale University Endowment uh, and grew it quite substantially. Uh, he's a well-respected uh, money manager uh, along the lines of um, Burton Malkiel in terms of his uh, qualified market commentary. Um, this book came up on my radar um, after listening to uh, Barry Ritholtz's Master in Business podcast. Uh, he recommended this book a number of times, so I finally decided to, uh, to check it out, and I'm happy I did. Uh, so the premise of this book is that uh, investing, especially active management and trying to beat the market, uh, is a loser's game. Um, and by that, uh, you know, he, the author Charles Ellis, he compares it to something like uh, amateur tennis or golf, where um, one person wins basically because, because the other person loses. They do a number of unforced errors uh, that cause them to lose. Um, and he kind of argues that professional investing is, uh, is very much the same. Uh, active managers are all so good, the markets are so efficient, uh, that trying to beat the market is a loser's game. Um, so in order to win, you have to focus on some other things. Uh, so again, as I mentioned, it's sort of uh, along the same lines as A Random Walk Down Wall Street uh, by Bert Malkiel, where you know the idea is that uh, active management after fees, uh, after taxes, and after uh, you know an over long enough period of time, uh, is almost bound to underperform the market. Um, you know, Charlie Ellis explains that this wasn't always the case, uh, but over the last forty years, as uh, markets have become more dominated by institutional investors, um, CFAs, uh, and and you know computing power, uh, it's nearly impossible for the individual investor. Uh, to beat the market. It's a loser's game. So, uh, you know, what they recommend is instead, uh, you know, using the market to help you meet the objectives that you want to meet in your life. Uh, so, you know, by um, basically setting, you know, your goals in terms of like retirement uh, and the lifestyle you want, and then, uh, you know, Focusing on things like determining an investment policy uh, that you follow, which you know is a main focus on asset allocation, um, and then looking at you know really low cost ways to implement that strategy, um, and you know kind of continues along those lines in terms of uh, suggestions that you can do uh, where you can get a really positive outcome. Uh, from the stock market uh, to really improve your life uh, and help you meet your goals, but uh, without focusing on the loser's game of trying to beat the market uh, because it's just so difficult to consistently outperform. Um, so, you know, for those reasons, and I think this book is, is really interesting, and, um, you know, what I really liked about the book is how uh, well written it is, how to the point it is. It's only about 250 pages. Uh, but it reads very quickly, um, and along the way, you know, there's just tons of insight and advice and, uh, you know, real expertise from someone who has, uh, you know, been basically a, a professional investor themselves uh, for years and years on end. So, you know, if this uh, sounds like something you might be interested in, um, you know, not only and not only does it talk about pa passive management, I don't want to... Uh, only focus on that. You know, the book really does have a lot of great invite advice uh, in terms of you know general uh, approaches to the markets and how you should think about the stock market and how you should think about risk and how you should think about time horizons. Um, and for anyone who is you know relatively new to the markets or interested or uh, on the fence between active and passive management um, or really just wants a, a qualified view of you know how to make the stock market work for you. I'd uh, highly recommend uh, checking out Winning the Losers Game. Um, it's a really interesting book, um, and, and it kind of hammers home the point that your money is your responsibility, and uh, the way you save it and the way you invest it uh, can have a really material impact on your life down the road and the lives of your uh, offspring, of your children, of your family, of the generations to come. And... 
if you don't accept that responsibility and you don't really uh, take it to heart, uh, you know, you're going to be playing a loser's game and you're not going to be, uh, you know, you, you, you can't uh, abdicate that responsibility to anyone else. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's your life, it's your money, and, uh, you know, but you can win um, by keeping your costs low, by indexing, uh, by investing in tax-deferred accounts, uh, and by, um, you know, setting savings and investing goals that will help you uh, meet your needs without having to worry about the stress of trying to beat the market uh, every day. So if that sounds at all interesting, I encourage you to uh, click the link below this video that will take you through to stockideas.org. You can read a much more in-depth book review, see what I liked the most, what I uh, didn't like as much. And you can also click through to Amazon and see uh, the reviews there and if, uh, if this is the book for you. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, this was Winning the Losers Game by Charles Ellis. Um, please, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and I'll be back with uh, more book reviews for you soon. Thanks very much for watching.